In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new user in Oracle SQL Developer and how to connect to the database using that user. What we need to do first is open the createuser.sql file. This will have two commands in it as you can see on the screen here. The first command, createuser, actually creates the user. The second one grants privileges to the user, which we'll get into later, but what this essentially does is it lets the new user actually connect to the database and create the tables that it needs to create. The first statement creates a user called tutor and the second part of the statement identified by is just the password for that user. So we have username of tutor and password oracle tutor. The second statement just lets the tutor user connect and create tables on the database. So if you don't have this file you can type these commands as they're needed. So what we're going to do now is move the mouse up to the second box there that says run script and press F5 or click on the button. What this will do is it'll run those two statements and create the user and then grant the privileges to that user. You'll see an output similar to the one below if it's been done correctly. Okay, so we've created the user. Now we need to create a new connection object for that particular user. This will make it easier in the future to make sure we connect as that user and not as any others. So what we need to do is click on the green plus symbol on the left of the screen. If you click on that, a new window will pop up asking for a new database connection details. What we can do is we can fill in the information that we have here. So the connection name is whatever you want to call it to make it easier for you. In this instance, I've called it local tutor. The username is the user we've just created, so the word tutor. The password is the password we've just put in, which is Oracle Tutor. We want to click Save Password for this, and then down the bottom, click on the Test button to test if the connection's working. On the side, you can see the status is success, if that works. Now we can click on connect, and what that will do is connect us to the database. You can see that a few things have happened. On the left, there's a new object under the connection section called local tutor. This is the new connection we've made. Up the top, there's a new SQL window that's been created for the local tutor person. So any queries we run in this window are under local tutor. In the top right corner, we can see the drop down box that says local tutor. This actually refers to the particular database and connection that's being used for this window, which you can change if you need to.